Whether it's rising sea levels, more violent storms, or both, global warming is causing the Indian River spoil islands to disappear. This island, I believe, is Indian River 5. And you can see, as we go down the length of the island, there's lots of trees that are dead, uh, washed out. There's stumps in the water, uh, very narrow here. And then it gets a little bigger down here. And this is happening to most of these spoil islands. Uh, it's either a combination, it's, it's either rising uh, sea levels or um, increased storm activity. But little by little, these uh, islands are being washed away. Here's the northern end of the same island. Uh, it's got some vegetation, it's narrowed down, but if you look out here at the end, you can see that the pine tree on the end is, is dying and several are in the water and have been uh, cut up. Um, and there's a sand spit that runs way out. Um, so as I said, little by little, these uh, spoil islands are being washed away. Well, this is IR4, Indian River 4. You can see it's uh, nearly been cut in half here by the last storm. Well, here's an osprey nest on uh, IR4 uh, that's probably not going to be there too long. This tree is dying. It's almost washed away at the bottom. And this osprey will lose its uh, nesting area um, in another year or so. Well, this is Indian River 3, and if it wasn't for this wreck from the 2004 hurricanes uh, sitting here, this island would be cut in half at this point, as you can see. And it won't be too long before uh, it is cut in half here, and that boat is uh, kind of sitting between uh, island points. Here's what's left of the research vessel Deep Venture, uh, seen from the inside of IR3. Um, I've watched this boat now for three years, three seasons, and uh, it's been there since about 2004, I believe. Um, and uh, it uh, gets, there's more and more sand getting washed out from under it. It's leaning more uh, in this direction, and it's just deteriorating very rapidly. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it actually washed free and sank in here or um, tipped over further onto its side uh, with storms coming from, from the other side of... Uh, the island, the outside of the island. Um, just really interesting to see these things develop over time. Well, here's another area on IR3 that uh, will soon be cut through. It's clear that uh, the waves wash over here in storms at this point and it won't be too long before it's just completely washed through. This is the north end of uh, IR3, um, and you can see uh, it catches the storms when they come in. They usually come in from this side, and it's you can see even with all this vegetation, it's washed back. You can see downed trees and so forth out in the water quite a ways, which used to be island, and it's uh, it's uh, disappearing. This is IR2 set aside for the pelicans here and taking off. Um, not sure what kind of condition this is here. I gotta get away from here though, I'm disturbing. More of IR2 here, um, Bird Island. You can see it's been nearly cut in half. I can see light through the trees or in the background there. Uh, it's not too much land on the other side here. This little lagoon was uh, much uh, tighter before. Uh, it's wide open now. Uh, water seems to be high today. Maybe that's part of what's going on. IR1. Um, this is my favorite island of the here Spanish group. Uh, I camped here in this area. You can see that picnic table there. The whole table and this beach that you see in front of me, this was all back about 20, 30 feet uh, two years ago. You can 
see these trees are not going to last too long before they're washed out. Um, over here, this one is badly undercut. Um, and it won't be long before it's gone. As you can see, it's just, you know, down here at the water level, there isn't, a, isn't much left. So I got to put this down and get out of here. See this bank here? Uh, it sits about four, maybe five feet high at this point. You can see the island is fairly high as these islands go. Uh, but that bank uh, is now exposed, and again, it slopes down to the water probably 15, 20 feet uh, farther out from where it is now. You can see there's been a lot of erosion here. Well, here's a section of uh, IR1 that's uh, been vulnerable before, but uh, it's pretty well washed through now. Uh, in any kind of a storm, the waves will just come up and over, and it won't be too long, I don't think, before this is just cut through. It's narrower and narrower every, uh, with every storm.